Hello and welcome back to another installment of Thursday Throwdown, the show where we pit two Golden Age sets against each other and you vote for the figures on our teams. This week, I am building out of TMNT4 Unplugged, and Simeon is building out of Star Trek, the original series. Uh, it's Gravity Feed versus a main set this week, uh, but we had to get Star Trek in there, and this is honestly a pretty bulky Gravity Feed uh, as far as things are concerned. So, Simeon... Why don't you go ahead and tell us who is on your team? We're building 300 points this week, so it's one of our smaller build totals, but it should be a good time. Yeah. Uh, so, Calder, tell me, who are who are your favorite characters from Star Trek, the original series? When you think of it, who do you think of? Mm. Uh, I think of Captain Kirk and Spock are the only two Star Trek characters I could name well, we got by name. Uh, anyone else? We no got... idea. Captain Kirk. So, Captain Kirk coming in at 50 points. He's a chase in the set. He has the trait uniform and tatters. Sideline activity. Friendly characters named Captain Kirk have free once per game. Replace this character with 049 Captain Kirk. At the end of your turn, replace that 049 Captain Kirk with this character. So, that's a fun little like swap in thing that he can do. I don't have any sideline ones for that. I, I should have done that, but that's fine. Um,. Honestly, I don't think there's any that are worth swapping in. Uh, he has a special damage power his entire dial, similar to Sulu's attack power his entire dial. And this is Two-Fisted Punch. It's the good old, what do they call that in WWE? Like the axe handle something. Um, so this is Close Combat Expert. If Captain Kirk has not moved this turn, he may use Close Combat Expert as free which is pretty exciting because you don't normally move with close combat expert unless you're sidestepping anyhow. So you kind of want to be like locked up and yeah, it's just a lot of, a lot of free attacks mm -hmm. and uh, people would use this with like a taxi, which I do not have on this team. Uh, next up in no particular <laughs> order is the Tribbles number zero and two in the set. Uh, they're a common figure that were really hard to come by for a common uh, I opened, like, two bricks and had two tribbles total or something like that. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, so for five points, you get what you see. It's a zero zero three 3 defense. Don't know why they bothered giving them a defense, but it's 3. And 0 damage. So 50% of their metabolism is geared for reproduction. Free, if another friendly character has not activated the same effect this turn, generate a zero one two 1 tribble. Tribbles. Uh, tribbles have no teeth. Opposing characters do not stop movement when becoming adjacent to Tribbles and automatically break away from the Tribbles. And then, I want these Tribbles off my ship. Unique modifier characters not named Tribbles modify their speed minus one. Thank God. They would have had a minus one speed. Like, that would have been their actual speed value, minus one. Um, for each Tribble adjacent to them. So that can stack. And then, for each two Tribbles adjacent to them, minus one attack so again if i if i manage to get like six tribbles next to one of a calder's characters and they choose not to move they have a minus three attack and since i don't have a great way to taxi these it'll be really easy for me to pull that off uh and then if they have a klingon keyword which <laughs> apparently calder has no klingon keyword figures in the turtle set who would have found uh, they also modify their defense minus one which would have been just I mean, overpowered, to say the least. Quite overpowered. For five uh, points. That's yeah. insane, Simeon. That's so just crazy. stat modifying for five points. Uh, next up is this weird white ape unicorn thing, Mugato. Uh, he's got leap climb mm -hmm. his whole dial. He's got a special attack power. One has taken the Mugato bite. He dies. I feel like that's a typo. One has taken the Mugato bite. He dies. <laughs> I feel I feel like that's a typo. Like it's supposed to be once. I don't know. I don't know. Um, when Mugato makes a close attack and hits after resolutions, give the hit target an action token. That's similar to dying, right? We don't have any powers based on like fangs or biting, so yeah, giving an action mm -hmm. token is good. When Mugato hits a character, getting with two getting tokens, two whole action tokens and having to rest for a little bit. Yeah. Uh, damage dealt is penetrating, so that's pretty good. Um, the penetrating damage is all right. I don't like the eight attack on his bottom click. I also don't like a full dial of leap climb, 
rather than anything else. <laughs> that uh, orange. Oh, he does have Indom, though. Yeah. Next up is one of the few characters that a lot of people played out of the set, and that's Lieutenant Kyle. Uh, he's got two powers, Sidestep and Telekinesis, and that's about all. He's got decent stats, twelve or two damage on his top click, so he can actually do some damage. Six range, 25 points. He has the United Federations of Planets yeah. team ability, which is just the plus one move, or plus one to speed when making a move action, which uh, is the same as Avengers and Justice League. Next up is Charlie X. Uh, don't laugh at me. They're all going to laugh at you, Charlie. Um, when Charlie X is the only target of an attack that misses, after resolutions, deal the attacker damage equal to its printed damage value. That'd be super cool if he had a great defense like 17 with willpower. It's, it's not too bad. Um, or if your opponent just targeted more than one person. But sidestep willpower prob. Uh, it'll be nice to have Prob on the team. And then later Dial, he's yeah. got Super Senses, so it's possible that Calder will damage him. And that's great, because that he one, will not that be That one's actually him. good, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, super Senses gives me a, a chance, for sure. Um, yeah. We already did Kirk. One of the few characters that I've played a lot of times out of the set um, that I've never, I've never actually seen the episode with the Orion females. Uh, but they've got the assassin keyword, which is pretty fun because they can be played on a mm -hmm. generic theme team with Triple H. Um, so they've got sidestep combat reflexes, <laughs> and then the rest of their <laughs> dial is just their two traits. Um, so 10 attack, 9 attack, 9 attack, 8 attack. And they help themselves out with that a little bit because uh, they say mm -hmm. no human male can resist them. Mind control. When a friendly character named Orion Female uses mind control, Modify the target's defense minus one for each token named Seduction on their card. And then Secret Dreams of a, a Bored Ship Captain is their other trait. Free, give an opposing character within four squares and line of fire a Seduction token. So I, for free, give someone a Seduction token, and then when I use my Mind Control, minimum range of four, they have minus one to defense. So not too bad for 30 points. Um, I hmm. like to play little swarms of these. You rack up seduction tokens really quick, and then you can make a bunch of mind controls that are pretty easy to hit. So, yeah. Uh, then we've got our big beefy guy, the Horta, that I'm playing at 75 points. Um, astonishing that anything of that bulk could move so rapidly. 10 speed, sidestep, improved movement. This character can move through blocking terrain. Immediately after the movement resolves, destroy all blocking terrain moved through. If Horta ends a move action in which it moved five squares or less and is adjacent to a square of blocking terrain, after resolutions, it may make a close attack. Uh, so that's a lot of stuff to say sidestep improved movement blocking. Um, it's got a stop click that is just stop toughness, no kill eye, which I imagine is something. Uh, this is going to be my big damage dealer, other than Kirk, because it's got poison and exploit weakness. What a great combo. Uh, that is my entire Oh, team. yeah. I'm starting with three tribbles. Is... And uh, is... Horta is on 75 point line. So, yeah, starting with... Uh... He's on 75. I was about to ask. I was curious if Horta and... What's the other one? Yeah, Mugato. Uh, Mugato. 60 points. So I'm playing him at full. It's an extra, okay. an extra three clicks of leap climb and toughness nice. for 20 points, and that's just too good to resist. Okay. That's point efficiency. <laughs> uh, I'll start off. Uh, making his grand return to Thursday Throwdown is uh, Hunt Hunt Hunt, or whatever, however we say his name, a.k.a. The Rat King, baby. It ain't a TMNT set without the old Rat King he has a trait, a hole to the rat layer. At the beginning of the game, place a hole marker in a square at least five squares from away from a starting area. At the beginning of your turn, if no character occupies the square with a hole marker and less than three giant rat bystanders on the map, generate a giant rat bystander in a square adjacent to the hole marker. Oh, baby. And as you can see, hole marker is going to be represented by that special terrain marker. He has a special speed power for his first three clicks, which is I control all the rats in the world. Sidestep, when the Rat King moves at least one square and ends his 
ends adjacent to an opposing character. After resolutions, all friendly bystanders name Giant Rat may move one square. And then he has a special damage power, which is my children are legion, which is exploit weakness and leadership. Pretty simple. The giant rats have a special damage power as well as sidestep and some very sad looking stats. Uh, their damage power is swarm of rats. If a giant rat is adjacent to one or more friendly bystanders named giant rat, modify its damage value plus one. If it's adjacent to two or more of them, also modify its attack value plus one. I'm pretty sure that's how the last rats worked. And I think they had the same stats, I believe, but I could be wrong. Yeah. Uh, next up, we have like, empower. But right. I mean, it would yeah. just been better. Uh, we have Baxter Stockman, everyone's favorite bug scientist nerd guy. Uh, he has a trait level boss flashing or flashing orange. The first time each game, Baxter Stockman would be KO'd. Instead, turn him to click six and then heal him one click. If an opposing character, if an opposing force has one or two characters on it, otherwise heal him two clicks. Protected pulse wave. A little come back to life action for old Bastard Stockman here, and then he has Sticky Fingers Ray, which gives him telekinesis. When he uses it, modifies attack value plus two. So he's going to do some offensive telekinesis from old Baxter Stockman here. He's eighty points of some flight, some outwit. Pretty solid for the team. Let's see. Let's go Alopex next here. We have uh, a furry on our team. It uh, it took us this long. Hopefully they are not the MVP. Otherwise, <laughs> ooh, pretend yikes. like you don't have a fox um, costume. Please pretend. Yep. I definitely do not, though. <clears throat> Anyways, improve movement. They have ignores elevated and hindering terrain, which is really good. They have the first trait, which is Cursed Blades of Vengeance. When Alopex hits an opposing character, give them a curse token. Characters with one or more curse tokens modify attack negative one. If any attack made by those characters misses, all targets become a critical miss. So when I hit you, get a curse token and you miss, it becomes a critical miss. Pretty cool. Pretty neat. Um, there were some shenanigans that people tried to play around with this figure, but I think at the end of the day, not having a damage reducer, not having yeah. Um, and um, really hurt this figure from also competitive the, play at the time. The 10 printed attack top dial with, for 90 points. Oh, yeah. You're the really like running like an yeah. 11. You don't want to have to sink a ton of support. I think they comboed it with uh, Lord Chaos Master Order, who gives like all opposing Lord Chaos characters Master Order. Oh, yeah. A, they did something uh, action token or something. But yeah. Mm hmm. The second trait is catch a tiger by the tail. At the beginning of the game, choose an opposing character. Alopex modifies attack value plus one when attacking the chosen character and modifies defense value plus one when being attacked by the chosen character. Uh, we're going to choose Horta for this trait since it is the beginning of the game. And then the last three clicks she picks up, they, I can't really tell, to be honest with you, uh, charge and flurry on the last three clicks, the special speed power. Next up, going up to the foot elite, the elite, the the elite, uh, foot elite dynamite here has a trait called sacrifice swarm. When an adjacent oh, friendly character is KO'd or takes three damage, uh, but isn't KO'd, give foot elite an opportunity token. Free, remove an opportunity token to either make an attack or move two squares. Uh, the speed power is temporary footboard. Free, move up to three squares in a direct path. Super awesome. And then their attack power is Dynamite. Energy Explosion, when Foot Elite uses it, hit characters of 60 points or less, can't make attacks during their next turn. Uh, just really solid. Throwing a stick of Dynamite at you. Yeah. These are, this just was really the good. best reason to buy into the set were all the Foot Elite. Uh, oh, yeah. They were all awesome. Next up is Foot Elite Boomerang. Uh, he also had the same sacrifice swarm trait when a friendly character is KO'd or takes three or more damage and isn't KO'd. Give Foot Elite an opportunity token, which once again lets them either make an attack or move up two squares. Then the special attack power this guy has is Boomerang. Like good old Sokka from Avatar the Last Airbender, uh, this guy loves his Boomerang. When Foot Elite would miss a ranged combat attack by one or two, once per turn you may reroll that attack roll. Boomerang's coming back around. And last... But certainly not least on the team, we have Mauser uh, from the starter set. We got some sidestep. We have some tiny size, indomitable, and uh, 17 with toughness. So, yeah, Mauser's going to be probably our MVP. 
just by vote. the way things are going. Whoever voted for it's, that. It's, it's a, a super no, I would say it's a great vote. Uh, <laughs> sure, let's go with that. Uh, almost got way better stuff. He voted for Mudman and then Rock Soldier and then finally settled on uh, old 10 for 2 Mauser here. Although, yeah. I did lie to Simeon earlier and I said no one on my team has Indomitable, but I forgot about oh, the 10 forgot about old Mauser. Standard, yeah. He's got Indom, Indom. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Half of the Star Trek set, probably more than half. I really of the like Star Trek that. Set doesn't have Indom. It's not just, it doesn't spawn as just like a bite. It's not a pog. It's it got a face. Yeah. yeah. That's. That's really nice of him to do that. Uh, we are, funny. of course, playing right. on a mock time. Uh, the turtle set, I don't think that one came with a map. I don't uh, think it did either. Um, and if it did, we just couldn't standards. find any in the mod. Yeah. Yeah. But all right. Old Rat King. Going to sidestep. Carrying the Mauser to there. Uh, sorry, being in my turn. Rats, we're the rats. We stop at night. We pray at night. We're the rats. Uh, we generate a rat bystander, as long as no one is in the special terrain, the rat hole, as we could say. Mm. Um, let's go ahead. Let's move foot dynamite, three squares in a direct path, and then boomerang just has sidestep. He does not have the direct path nonsense. Let's go ahead. And Baxter Stockman, move one two. Go ahead and slap him there. Um, as you guys can see, we do not have the dial information on the top like normal. So yeah. we're back to using the old action tokens and all that jazz. Clicks Real pads, fun. Which will be interesting. I probably should have more for the tribbles. But I have no way of really keeping track of them. And they're only a single click. So if one dies, it just dies. Uh, there's no really... There's not even a reason to really have the clicks pad for it. I don't know why I do, but who knows? Maybe Calder will outwit something or perplex down my defense, and I'll need to mark it. Um, yeah, maybe. And I think that will be my turn right there. I don't have any perplexes, nothing to do right now, so it is your turn, Simeon. All right. So I strategically placed my tribbles near people that could carry them. Also, no two tribbles next to people, so they didn't give minus two speed to the people that were carrying them. Uh, so Mugato will be first. He can go a whole eight squares, because it's minus one since he's adjacent to a tribble, and minus one for carrying the tribbles, which is just lovely. Isn't that awesome that they worded it that way? Uh, so he can go eight squares he's gonna go like right here and he's just gonna go ahead and plop a triple down next to your giant rat so take that um, mm -hmm. next we are going to have one of the Orion female, oh, the only Orion female on this team. Um, but I guess it's, apparently it would be one of them. Just don't know the actual name. It's generic. She's going to sidestep carrying this triple. And then also carry a whole four squares. And she's going to drop hers right there. Uh, what a good use of an action. Just moving four squares. I feel like I'm playing Abraham Lincoln, zombie one. Um, what is going on with this one? This one looks like weird. It's weirdly, it's a weirdly, oh, did you see what happened there, Calder? It just, it just mutated. And I made, no, what was that necessarily? extra. Oh. split into two triples. Oh. It's, uh, Very funny. It? Mitosis. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll give... I think it's called birth. Mugato a free action to generate another pile. Or I guess the triple that was carried can do it. Doesn't really matter who. We'll generate another triple. 
because Calder needs the points. Mm. Um, I think Charlie X would be the best bet, but maybe I uh, just do it with Lieutenant Kyle. Lieutenant Kyle sides that one two, carrying this triple to here behind the rock, so it's protected. Um, what is good old? He's got sidestep. Let's. Uh, Oh, do I really want to use my last action for that? No, I do not. So we'll sidestep. Hmm. Good old Charlie. And the Horta can ignore blocking terrain and nothing else. So he's going to walk. One, two, three, four. It was ten. Go there to the hindering and then we'll just uh nope i understand you're on both the hindering squares i get it yeah it's all don't it's all don't set on my rat <laughs> okay uh that'll be it's fine i guess that's the best way to do it oh, i've got to move him for the action token now perfect um yep four squares. you know just that's like hero clicks in real life yeah that's how peanut bases work uh, that is all the yep. actions my team has because Kirk does not have leadership and, uh, of course no one else on this team would. So yeah, I've got three actions and that was all three. Uh, Kirk can make a free, since he didn't move, he can free close combat something. Uh, mm. and other than that, yeah, it goes to Calder's turn. Okay. Um, beginning of my turn, um, the giant red. That makes all of the rules. Um, we're going to place a rat next to our whole token. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Uh, and then also being the term, we're roll leadership with the foot elite dynamite. That was kind of a set down. I didn't like the way that rolled. All right, there we go. And then we're going to roll leadership with the, what's this called? Rat King. Okay. No leaderships. Kind of bad leaders, I guess. Let's go ahead. Hmm. We're not Baxter Stockman. Sidestep. Uh oh. To here. We're going to outwit Hortas defense. Ah. And we're going to have Alopex go one, two, to here. I am adjacent to you, right? Yes. Yeah, I'm occupying the okay. farther to Yeah, she'll have to to there. It will be an 11 to your something. Uh, 18. Surprisingly good height. Oh, okay. We need a 7. Sure, sure. Oh, baby! A crit hit! Are, are, the, are, the, are the tabletop simulator dice finally working in my favor? Uh, taking four damage. That's a that big means, move. That's a big. It's a big move right away. It, it'll still only do the three because I hit my stop click. Ah, oh, and then we get a roll, a breakaway with Alopex. That was a sad set down roll. There we go, and it is a one, so it fails. So she stays there. Um, you also get a. Something Cursed token. token. What's it called? Cursed, Cursed token. Yeah, I know my figures. I know what they do. I'm going to use this outwit marker to mark that outwit speed. All right. So that's one action there. I think the next action, what is the Horta's defense value right now? Uh, it's a big old 16 toughness. 16 see if we can cause some damage with these rats um they're an eight for three they are adjacent to one rat which means it has plus one damage that's the important part is we need to be able to get past that toughness so wow. we're gonna have this are, rat you are try also to take a swing. adjacent to two triples ah <laughs> so let's make <laughs> this rat take a swing first and we'll have it attack one of the tribbles. We'll see if it hits. A crit miss, you say? It's an eight attack. Ah. Hmm, that will hit. Now, will we hit do need an eight defense. to hit that 16, so we're going to need 
we're gonna need to hit another uh hit another one of those let's go ahead and have this next rat now swing against horta see what happens he needs an eight it's an eight two 16 high high numbers mm. that's pretty pretty cocked mm. All right, that will miss. All right, that's my three actions. I do have one more, so I do have a source of leadership. Let's go ahead and move the Foot Elite Dynamite up three squares. Just to move. Sidestep up the Foot Elite, what's his face? Sidestep up the Rat King to here. Carrying the Mauser to here. And sidestep the Mauser to there. And then I think we just move this guy to here for our last action. Clear the Rat King. Clear the Dynamite Soldier. Oh, no, wait. We need to roll Breakaway with this giant rat. I, I, lest I forget here, um, you do still have poison. So let's try to have this giant rat break away. It's a normal size figure. Got it. There we go. And clear Baxter Stockman. And it is your go. Ah, uh, yes. Interesting. Um, so Charlie X needs to get into the game, and so does Captain Kirk. We will use Lieutenant Kyle. Oh, I'm going to do different color this turn. Uh, sadly, I don't know why I have this many tokens. I really will not be using that many with three actions per turn and so many characters um lieutenant kyle will use his telekinesis one of his many powers to let's see it's just going to toss charlie out this away I think good old Charles there will simply just sidestep since he he does have six range, I guess. I could attempt to do something, but he'll just sidestep down too for now. We'll see about doing something later. Good old shirtless Kirk will move seven squares. Now not quite within charging range with my whole four square charge. Um, mm. I suppose the Horta will poison Alopex for one damage. There it is. And I do have... I do have Indomitable with the Horta, so I could attempt to deal damage, but I'd have to swing on Alopex, who has two rollouts, and if I miss, it's a crit miss, so not great options. Not a great um, way to kill yourself. No. I must not, add. Not an amazing way. Not going to gain a whole lot from that. Let's see. Used my poison. Hmm. Very, very strange. Uh, let's just uh, roll for sidestep with the Horta. A one. That will not do anything. Um, good old Charlie has line of fire to anyone not in the Horta square. Let's let's try and what's Baxter, Baxter Stotman got right now? He has ESD. Is that right, or is that combat reflexes? It's probably ESD. Uh, it's ESD, yeah. Uh, what about... Uh, he's got a 17. It's going to be a hard shot for Charlie either way. Um, seems like my only real move. I can move Mugato since he's got some stuff going on. Uh, let's do that. Um, we'll have Mugato 
leap and climb into your rat square. <sighs> How could you? And I should keep track of the tribbles that you've killed, so I'll I'll make another dice for triple kills. So you're at one currently. Uh, oh, how nice of you. And then I will bring that one that you killed back, and I will place it here. Mm, not a fan. Uh, there we go. Uh, that Yeah, that's all I'm going to do this turn. So we'll clear the Horta. We will clear the Orion female. And I feel like there's someone else. No, is that it? Is that is that everyone that needs to clear? Yeah, because uh, somebody. Wait, no. Does someone have two action tokens? Oh no, there's too many things to keep track of right now. Um. Oh, Horta has two action, or not Horta? Mugato has two action tokens. Yeah, I just moved him, literally two seconds ago. All right, that is my turn. <laughs> I need more coffee. Okay. Let's start off with a leadership from Rat King. Ugh, that was such a bad set down. There we go. And then a leadership from Foot Elite Dynamite. All right. Couldn't get either of them. That's okay. That's okay. We cannot make a rat as there is a big ugly ape thing. Ugh, just hideous. Little sausage fingers. Cone heads, looking head, nasty. Uh, let's take care of him, shall we? He does look happy, though. I think about the Rat King to try and take care of business here. He's going to sidestep you dare uh, and his movement next to another character, Are, which means the, rat the rats other? get to move his space. Mugato has. One one has taken the Mugato bite, he dies. Is the Rat King prepared oh to die? He is unscared of the potential that anything <laughs> Mugato could do could hurt the Rat King. Uh, we're just gonna, I was gonna do something fancy, but we're just gonna do a 10 attack against your like 18. Yes. For exploit. Yeah. See what we can do with this. Hmm. Ah, it's a seven. It was close, but no cigar. Rat King tried. Next up, I think what Elite Dynamite moves in a straight line to here. Uh -oh. And then, let's see. Baxter Stockman. Sidestep to there. Uh, okay, yeah. And we're going to TK this heavy object over oh. to old Charlie X here. Um, let's try. see how that works for us. He gets plus two when he TKs. He's got a 13 attack against a 17. Uh, that will hit an 18. Uh, I am I am an 18. You're drawing line through that, through that hindering. No. Um, oh. That's right. Excuse I will. Me. I will prob it with Charlie X. Okay. Need that five again. If not, it'll be a miss. That is a ten. Okay. For three damage. Bunk. And that gets destroyed. Second action. Okay. Let's have the foot elite try to energy explode on the Horta. All right. He also has a 17 for range. 10 to stuff. Uh, that is That's, another crit And that is going to be another crit hit, which I think I crit hit my Alopex as well yes. <laughs> uh, with that. Everyone wow. will take three 
that will also hit my Jeez. Mugato, uh, who will take two after reduction. Characters of 60 points or less can make attack. So at the very least, Alopex uh, can still make an attack next turn. But taking three damage is very hurtful for poor Alopex. Wow. Um, now that I'm finally getting good luck in these Thursday Throwdown games, it would seem it's one, two, three actions. I do get one more. Uh, Alopex will definitely clear. Um, does Mugato take two? Was he was yeah. Horda all up in his adjacency? All right, uh, he, well he takes two. Cool his toughness, but yeah, two right his toughness. Let's uh, have Baxter Stockman outwit the prob control on Charlie X. He this no turn, has it, but I will allow you to do that. Oh, never mind. Uh, let's go ahead and outwit the. Hmm. Let's make it charge on Captain Kirk. Yeah. Let's clear the foot elite. The elite. Uh, okay, let's actually sidestep the Mauser here, see if he can take a swing. I guess we have the one more action. See what Mauser can do against old Mugato. A seven. 17. He does have a 17, so he will take one nice. more damage. One because of the yeah, nice. Uh, then we'll clear Alopex, and it is your turn. Interesting. Um, hmm. I think that's my best bet. So we will start off by sidestepping the Orion female to here, carrying my triple along the way. Um, she is going to attempt to mind control. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Yeah, we're going to try and mind control. First, we're going to give a seduction token to the foot elite dynamite. So now he is slightly seduced. Mm. And then she will attempt to mind control him since he is a earth man, I believe. This should work. So I will need yes. a whole six, asking a lot for the Orion female here. Oh. And that's looking pretty cocked. I'll just count this one dice that is. <laughs> that's when I roll right? dice off the table and I say, oh, looks like one fell off the table. Can I just count this one that's a six? Yeah. That'll still hit. All right, and now All I right. will miss my mind control attack. So now that he is under my thrall, I can move him up to half his speed value. Uh, he is this one, so he can move five squares and then attempt yep, nine, to punch so somebody. Five. Um, or shoot, I suppose. I'd really like to get rid of Alopex, but that's a 17. I think Baxter Stockman might be an issue with that outwit, so... I think we're going to go after Baxter Stockman. So we will just move one whole square to here. Actually, no, no, no. No, no, no. We'll go here. Um, and then we will attempt to punch Baxter Stockman. It's a 10 into the 17. Mm -hmm. Ah, another 10. All right, that'll do it for three damage to old Baxter Stockman. Then I will generate another Tribble. Just love feeding Calder all these Tribble mm. points. Um, Tribbles. Let's see here. What is Baxter Stockman now has a 17 Super Senses. Charlie is rocking his eight attack to damage. Not really the best way to make an attack, but I don't have any other options. So good old Charlie X is going to return fire on Baxter. Oh, yeah, Stockman. baby. So it'll be in a big old eight into Baxter Stockman's eighteen. Roll that crit hit, Samir. Sure. For three rolls in a row, that will be oh, that will that 10. will hit. That's the magic number, though. Uh, 
Nice. All right. Super senses will say that was a set down. Let's make it roll. There we go. Uh, All right. So he's damage. taking how much? Roll damage. One, two. That's my click six. Mm. That's actually probably worse for me. Um, well, it probably is. Yeah. Let's see here. I can't move the tribbles on their own. Really, the only person that makes sense to do anything with this turn is Lieutenant Kyle, who will just sidestep carrying his Tribble. He'll go two squares. He'll put, doesn't really matter, he'll put the Tribble there. And mm. I will clear... Are you going to put the Tribble there? Is that a square block? Yes, I will put the Tribble there is what I'm <laughs> Yeah, it is. Uh, <laughs> uh, Kirk has his charge back since I lost that oh, with. I mean, true. you could charge. Uh, he does not have yeah. end bomb, so I'll go ahead and oh, okay. leave him for now. And then I will clear my Mugato, the happiest monkey corn mm. in the entire universe. Mugato, I gotta say, not a fan. Um, I want to get up to three rats this game. Uh, so we got some rat business to take care of and Alopex would normally help out, but rats take care of their own business. <laughs> you know how it is. Um, so first up, uh, let's do the leaderships. First of all, uh, we only have the foot elite dynamite's leadership left. Uh, it's three. So it misses. Let's have, let's see. We need some people to take some swings here. Okay. Let's have this foot elite sidestep to here. He'll swing on Mugato. Attack three damage. Mm. Ah. That'll be hit a 14. I imagine misses. We're going to prob that with Alopex, though. Yeah. Since they now have it. Um. It's going to be a five. That will also miss. It is higher, though. Higher roll, I must say. Let's go ahead and have the... Oh, yeah, baby. Let's have that Mauser take a swing on him. Using its Indomitable. Oh, man. That will definitely hit. Uh, that is a 10 for, for another damage. Two, so one damage. Man, if only these rats had him power. Um... What's only got of sitting at now? He's on. He's on quick five. He's looking a little rough. Still a I don't know if I want to use my other two actions with the giant rats. Um, yeah, yikes. Let's have Foot Elite Dynamite Energy Explode. This triple right here. Uh, boo. Oh, this one. Uh, pushing hit, to do so. You must hit a three. Yes. With that sounds. So a crit miss. Really oh, tough. Definitely. Uh, miss. Ten attack. That'll hit 17s, which I imagine hits the Orion female. Yes, it does. So she will take two. I will lose two more tribbles. Calder has dwindled the population of tribbles. Uh, He's then going to move three squares to here and perplex up this giant rat's attack value. So it will be a nine for two against Mugato. Oh, that is a four. Darn shame. Darn shame. All right. Then we're going to clear the Rat King. Clear Baxter Stockman. And it is your go. All right. Um, right. I'm a little worried my triples are going to run out. So I'm thinking about keeping this one back with Kyle. Although, as sad as it is, Kyle might end up being the only attacker that I really have. Uh, also, he should have cleared last turn. Uh, he did not do anything other than sidestep. Uh, so we will generate... Let me double check the wording here on Tribble's posing characters. Nope. Uh, if another friendly character that oh, has not activated the same effect this turn, generate. So it does have to be the Tribble that generates it. Uh, so we will just generate one here. And Kyle is going to sidestep one, two, 
carrying this one to behind the rock. Now oh my gosh. Chasing. This is like Pokemon Center breeding going on <laughs> in the back half of this game. Um, just so I have that fail-safe triple, uh, you can't say that I lose Jeez. until it is gone. Uh, the Orion female has one seduction <laughs> token on the board. Um, I think I'm going to make you track that triple down. That. <laughs> I'll put another seduction token on the foot elite dangerous. Oh boy! Uh, bringing him another out. negative one. Yeah, so he's a fifteen for mind control now. Um, let's see how I want to. I think Alopex. Alopex currently has the charge flurry or some sort of variation of that. Mm -hmm. Um. Although no, that's correct. The blades might be the worst part, so... One, two, three, four... Let's... Hmm... Got an interesting choice of things to do here. But also, not really. Uh, so Orion Female will push to mind control the Foot Elite Dynamite. Mm -hmm. My whopping 10 attack into your seducted 15 defense. 15? Yeah. Be an easy, an easy mind control to get. Uh, mm. That will get it. It will kill. Um, as they say in Forged in Flames. Uh, so. Since mm, that's has, wrong, you know it. It will kill. Uh, Alopex has uh, 16 with Prob. I think I'm going to just make a ranged attack. Baxter Stockman is kind of scary with that. Uh, maybe I should worry about Baxter Stockman first. That ranged combat expert's probably worse than the Prob. So we will go one, two, three squares to here. And attempt to close attack Baxter Stockman. Okay. Yeah. I do not like <clears throat> that. That is a three. Uh, that'll push the Orion female. Oh, wait. She took two damage. Okay. That was silly of me. I, for some reason, still thought that she was top dial. Um... Is she dead? No, no, she's still alive. Just okay. So. We're gonna charge to here with Kirk. Ooh. He's gonna throw a big old double handed axe punch. Except it'll just be a normal punch. Uh we'll try and hit Baxter Stockman again. So it's just a ten into a okay. seventeen. Yeah, sixteen. Sixteen super senses. Uh, that will hit. Let's have you prob it. I'll prob that with Alopex. Okay. Uh, I believe in you, Kirk. Okay. All right. Uh, super senses with Baxter Stockman says that was a set down. Let's make it roll. Three. So he's taking what? Three damage. Uh, I believe it's just two. Yep, two damage. One will do him in, so we're going to activate the old flashing thing. So your force has... Do, 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 do. More than Stay two. Turn him to yeah. six. If an opposing force has <laughs> one or two characters, yeah. So I'll heal him two clicks. I turn him to click six. So one, two. So he'll go to click four. Now, is that instead of being KO'd? So he would... Yes. He doesn't have an action token. I guess it doesn't matter. Okay. Um... Yeah. He's on click four now. So that's two and we'll die the next time he takes damage. I can do penetrating damage with my Mugato on your Mauser because it has two action tokens. Uh, I could alternatively attempt to add an action token to somebody. I think... Let's see here. I can actually attack most of your team with where I am. That's an 18... That's a 17. Uh, Rat King is 17. 
I think we'll just try and punch the foot elite boomerang with mm. good old Mugato. I don't even want to look at my stats right now. It's probably bad. Uh, I need an eight to hit you. Right. That is a five. And I will go ahead and clear Charlie X. And clear hey. no one else. Everybody else did stuff. Let's start my turn. Still can't make a rat due to that ugly thing being there. Let's do a Rat King Leadership. That was a set down. No, two. All right. Um, I don't like this guy. I don't like him one bit. Let's have Foot Elite. I guess he can only move to there because of stopping. So he's going to perplex down Captain Kirk's defense. We're going to have Alopex Flurry on the good captain himself. Uh-oh. He has a 16 with toughness. Ooh. That will miss. Because uh, that'll hit a 15. Next attack. Uh, that will hit. Knockback won't happen. We're going to roll blades because you have toughness. And I've got a two damage, so might as well. Uh, that is a four. Three damage. One, two, and three. I'm okay with that. My attack value went up, so. All right, good stuff, Alopex. Let's see. Uh, what is your defense now on old Captain Kirk? It is a 16 with combat reflexes. Hmm. I don't want to be next to this guy. Let's have the Foot Elite Boomerang try to roll a breakaway. That was a set now. Uh, does not get it for sidestep. We're at one action so far. Let's have the Rat King uh, try to kill this Mugato guy so you're off my rat hole. It is a 10 to your defense value using Exploit Weakness. Ah, that is a four. I imagine that will miss. Yes. Mugato lives. This rat sidestepped here. It's going to have plus one damage. It's going to be an eight to your, I believe it's a 16. I was 17. Okay. So we need to roll a nine with this rat to deal Mugato one damage. Let's see what this rat can do. Uh, that ah. is a three. That is a six, baby. There's our damage on him. That will do me one damage. Uh, slowly but surely, getting rid of this Mugato guy. Yeah. And let's let's try to punch Baxter Stockman. Let's see, that was one. That was two. That was three. We still have leadership. Yeah. Let's have Baxter Stockman try to punch uh, Captain Kirk. So Baxter is a ten. You are an eighteen with reflexes, perplexed down to a seventeen. Let's see what we can do. Ouch. Ooh, that will hit. For how much damage? Or three damage. Dang. Three. One, two, three. That is enough to take out Kirk. Well, that right. is his thing. The whole carry him up oh. and have him close combat expert thing that he is known for. That is what he did. Oh, yeah, he definitely was able to pull <laughs> that off this turn. Clear the rat. Let's clear. Do do. Foot soldier dynamite. Let's clear foot soldier boomerang and clear the Mauser, and it is your go. Well, well, how the turntables. Um, Good team. I think Mugato is going to return fire on Gunol Hanatan. Uh, so it'll be my uh, impressive. Please. My father was Hanatan. Call me Rat King. It's, it'll be the impressive nine attack into your 17 defense. I need a whole eight okay. to hit. Oh, and there goes Charlie. Ah, a three. I think Charlie was here about. Uh, he might have went back a square. I don't know. Uh, 
uh, he definitely didn't have the direct egg. Yeah, I think that's where it was. Um, Charlie X will have to do something this turn, because my options are extremely limited. Charlie with his 8 attack, 2 damage. Oh, let's see. Let's... I don't really want to shoot at Alapex. It won't really matter either way. Everyone's basically a 17. So yeah, we'll just shoot at Alopex with Charlie. Uh, might as well. <laughs> what is the worst that can happen? I can crit miss and die. Yes, that is true. Um... So I will need a a 10. No. Alpex is a 16, so I will need a 9. Yep. That is a 6. Mm. It's not close enough. Would you care to prob it, though? Uh, no, I do not care to prob it. Okay. Uh, I will sidestep with Lieutenant Kyle. Uh, I suppose I'll carry this dribble to there. Um, I'll probably just move seven squares. Well, five, one, two, three, four. We'll go five to here, carrying the triple, and then it will generate another triple. And I will clear the Orion female. Mm. Eventually. Right on. Let's uh, do a little bit of leadership on the Rat King here. That was a set down. Every time I set it down, it lands right on a six. It sucks. There we go. Four misses. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Hmm. Shall we move up? There. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Let's go there. Leave him there for right now. Um, this giant rat is going to try to sidestep break away. Got it. Set him there. Let's have the old Mauser hmm. try to... Um, I really want to kill Magana this turn, so I think... Lopex is going to charge breakaway first. Yeah. Sure. One, two, three. All right, sure. Let's have... I see two threes in your future. Let's have Alopex try to get out of there. Uh, all right, so that's one, one three. three. Prominent Alopex. Waste of a prob. Uh, a four. All right. Uh, they're going to move... Two, three to there. Um, just so we can get rid of triple squad here. First attack against the first triple. Hopefully not a crit miss. Hmm. Got it. This one? Or this one? Yeah, sure, the front one. Okay. Sure, the front one. Uh, second attack against the other triple. Hopefully not a crit miss. Hmm. All right, those are six. But his... His odds of rolling can be a keep push. increasing. So for Alopex, <laughs> they do. All right. And now we're going to perplex down the defense of Mugato. And we're going to have the Mauser take a swing on Mugato. Mm. That'll hit a 16. Mugato is a 16. So you will deal one damage to him? Indeed. You dare approach Mugato. Okay. On click seven, you are now only a 15 defense. Let's have that giant rat try to take you out of there. Here we go. We need a seven. That's rats. We are the rats. Ah, so close. <laughs> Six. Mugato lives for right. at least. Uh, you know what? Rat King grows One weary. We're going to push the rat king. He's dying this turn. He's got to die. I want to make it a giant rat next turn. So Rat King is going to be a 10 to your 15. This is where Rat King pushes and rolls a crit miss. All the same time. Nope, that is a 4 and a 1 magic number. Just barely. 
for three damage exploit. Ah, well. It's a good thing you had the experience. Rats, we take care of our own problems. Alright. And then we're going to clear uh, Baxter Stockman and the other giant rats. Alright. Uh, I still think go. your uh, dynamite foot elite is probably my best bet to deal you damage. He's a 10 for 3. Mm. Um, just need to figure out how I exactly want to do that. So we will give the Foot Elite a, another seduction token with the Orion Female. Oh, man. I get a 3 on these seduction incredibly tokens. Incredibly seduced. I'm using these fire tokens for seduction. I think it shows the, the passion going on here. <laughs> yes. Uh, mm -hmm. So now a... 14 defense, but I am down to yeah. an 8 attack, so uh, nice. I still need a 6, which isn't great, but it is doable. It is plausible. Ah, a 6. There it is. There's your um, 6. We're just going to have him... Let's see, what's his range? Probably you know, 5. Wow. One, two, three, four, five. He's going to move to here. Mm. Yeah, that's fine. He's going to move there, and he's going to shoot at Alopex. Oh, okay. 16. He's another six. Ah, the second three. Ooh, baby. Is rolled. Oh, baby. He is too enamored to really lucking shoot out. correctly. Uh, my Tribble will make itself another Tribble back here. Oh, I forgot about that thing. I yes. thought I had ended their race. But yes, they are still back there. No, the Tribble genocide Goodness that Calder has attempted has been thwarted by forward-thinking Lieutenant Kyle. Um, okay. <laughs> speaking All of right. Lieutenant Kyle, he's willing to self-sacrifice, and he will also... Uh, poor Jangle. He will just shoot at... Uh, Alopex from where he is. He needs mm. no mind control. He can do it on his own while taking damage. Uh, that is a six. Uh, we're going to prob it with Alopex. See if um... they can last a little longer here. That is a four. Oh. But it is that is doubles. much better. So. Lieutenant so, is not a complete loser because it yes, was and. Um, oh, That is my sure entire is. turn. Uh, yeah, Charlie X is going to clear. Yeah. Hopes are dwindling fast on Team Trek. Hmm. Uh, beginning of my turn, Rat Squad! Finally, up to three rats, baby. Rats, rats, we're the rats. We stop at night, we pray at night, we're the rats. I'm the giant rat that makes all of the rules. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. Had to do that one kind of fast. Want to get this game going. Uh, but the rats, the whole rat pack is here, ladies and gents. All righty then. Uh, let's roll leadership with Rat King. See if we can take it off of the Mauser. Oh, oh, we can, baby. Oh, baby. He's not a Look Mauser at this. King. Everything He's is going King. right. Eh, well, it was the only one we could do it. Mice aren't the same. Everything's looking good. Everything is looking good. Uh, sidestep one, two with this rat. Sidestep one, two with this rat. Uh, let's go ahead and sidestep the Mauser to there. This rat's going to be a nine for two. Orion female, what is she rocking? Ooh, combat reflexes. Combat reflexes. That's, go. <laughs> That's not good. You fool. Um, let's go for it, though. I can seduce nine for rats two. as eight. well. Mm. Let's perplex up. Uh, let's perplex down the Orion female's defense with uh, the old uh, foot elite dynamite. So it's only a 16. So we need to roll seven. Uh, right, 16 on a nine. Yes. Let's see what that rat can do, baby. Uh, oh, baby. That will do it. That rat. Two damage. Taking her out of there. All right. Good job. All right. Was that rat? Let's see. Let's have rat king... 
sidestep to here. And let's go ahead. Let's see. Uh, we're going to clear Alopex, clear the Rat King, clear this other rat. Uh, this other rat can also sidestep, I guess. Let's have it sidestep one, two there. And it is your go. All right. The triple Congo line will start. Uh, we'll add it one begins. There. Um, these giant rats are standard sized. So, good old yeah. Charlie X with his eight for two. Starfleet needs you, Charlie. Uh, mm. if you're ever gonna be. That's one way to put an action token on a character. <laughs> if you're ever gonna be worth anything someday, Charlie, you'll you'll need to make this attack. So, I think it's time to defeat Baxter Stockman. So Charlie will need a 10, but I believe in him because he's got a crit hit. Mm -hmm. missing, you know, or, or, I just said miss. Uh, he's got a crit hit hidden in his heart somewhere. Uh, there's one six. One six, oh, and then a five. That was a good hit, though. Uh, so super senses on Baxter. That was a set down. Uh... That's a three for how much? For two whole damage Baxter will take. Two. Takes Baxter back to his last click. I will attempt to sidestep Lieutenant Kyle. Oh. He will get it. I also killed the foot elite there. Uh, let's see. He will just go one, two squares. And then I will clear him of action tokens. My triples are sadly stuck where they are. Um, they will slowly mob the map if not dealt with. But Multiply. other than that, they cannot move by themselves. Mm. Alrighty then. Uh, beginning of my turn, I cannot add a rat. We have the max amount of rats on the board, which is good. Let's go ahead, uh, sidestep Baxter Stockman here. Moving that foot boomerang guy to there. Let's move the foot elite all the way up to here. And let's perplex down the defense of Charlie X. We're going to sidestep this giant rat. This giant rat. And then this giant rat to there. And um, that giant rat will actually carry the Mauser to here. And the Mauser will sidestep to here. Interesting. Uh, let's have the giant rat without a token take a swing on Charlie X. We'll see if his one interesting thing will actually happen. That will hit. Uh, that should hit. Super senses. Uh, okay. Charlie dies. He went for the glory. I can't say that he didn't. Uh, he certainly tried. He indeed is mm. a character. It's weird that you threw away it's Lieutenant it. Kyle and not Charlie. Oh. Did Very I also strange. take an action token off of him? No, Lieutenant Kyle cleared. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, Lieutenant Kyle cleared. Have. Okay. All right. Uh, Alopex. One, two, three, five. Yeah, she can charge. They can charge. One, two, three, four, five. Head flurry on that guy thing. Mm -hmm. Puffball, whatever. Not a crit miss. Mm. Got it. It's an eight. Mm. Mm. Sidestep the Rat King. Clear. Oh, no. Wait. Yeah, clear this rat. It is your turn, Simeon. I will make a triples. <laughs> um. Yes. <laughs> Lieutenant Kyle will attempt to sidestep first, I guess. Four. He does manage to sidestep. Uh, what does he think he will accomplish, though? That is the question. Um, let's just sidestep. One, two. A little bit safer distance, I guess. I don't know. And then we will shoot the Mauser. 
Oh, that's a terrible idea. I should have no. It's tiny sized. Uh, we will shoot the dino. Yeah, root. genius. Uh, <laughs> mm. I'm just looking for points 17. at this point. I just need Talk to score us. a point. That is a six. No. That'll hit a 15. Um, and that is my whole turn. Yeah. Nice. Kyle is now an action point sandwich. We're going to perplex up the Mauser's damage value. The Mauser will now sidestep and it will punch Lieutenant Kyle here, aka Jangle. He has a 16. You will need to be able to roll a 6. I don't believe you. Ah, okay. Ooh, a 6 right on the money with the Mauser. For 2? For three, because of the perplex from uh, that will take the foot elite dynamite. Kyle. Heck yeah! But luckily, I still have pieces in play, so the game is not over yet. Rat sidestep, rat sidestep, rat sidestep. Uh, what is their still speed value? Speed is three. Rat move. Rat move. Let's see. If you kill. One, two, three, five, six. Rat king move. Oh, you'd have to kill a, a ridiculous. We can all move. Triples. One more space. I was going to say the all game right. ends if um, you and uh, then... score over 100 points, but that's hardly possible with triples. Yeah, that's a lot of triples. Baxter Stockman's sidestep. Cap Boomerang goes to here. And we clear this rat. And it's your turn, Simeon. All right. I will make a another triple over by the Rat King. Oh, yeah. You got to clear Alapex as well. Yes. I will give all of my triples an action to move zero squares. Oh, jeez. Jeez. I don't even know if that's allowed. What a guy. Uh, yeah, that's my whole turn. I'm, I generate okay. a triple. Uh, rat sidestep to there. Uh, Alopex flurry on triple. I will break away. Charge actually to here. Yeah, Flurry on speed. the triple closest to all the rats. Uh, that one will hit. All right. So technically, Alopex is minus one attack. So that gives you a nine attack. Yeah. Plus a nine. Yes, it'll hit an 18. You have a, 18. You have a three team. Okay. Which, uh, Alopex which will roll blades on that triple. Uh, the one in front of the rats. Uh, the blades roll will be a one damage. One Should damage. get it. Silly. <laughs> what this a loser. Uh, yeah. Okay. Next triple, the one right in front of them. Ah, uh, that'll be five. a five. So that'll, that'll only be... that'll only hit a fourteen. Only hits a fourteen. Uh, so we'll roll, we'll roll blades. Eleven. Uh, less. Slayer roll there. Let's roll blades. Eleven. Uh, that'll be for five you, damage. You might have missed. Yes. Five less damage. Uh, it's an score. action token for Alopex. Then uh, rat sidestep. Rat sidestep. Uh, clear the rat. Clear the rat king. Clear this rat. Uh, let's actually see what we can do. We can sidestep the Mauser. Wait, first we're going to move Foot Elite to here. And we're going to move him three squares, carrying the Mauser. One, two, three. <laughs> Bring the Mauser to here. Sidestep uh, one. It doesn't really matter. Uh, Sidestep one, two, to here. Move the Mauser here. Uh, Sidestep the Mauser. One, two, to here, baby. Um, and now it is your turn. I will make a triple in this square. Mm. 
Yes. Mm. And uh, I'll clear my currently living triples that I definitely had on the board. All right, let's go ahead. Uh, this rat will take a swing on the triple uh, that's next to him and Alopex. Hmm. It's an eight uh, against your three. So if he rolls a minus six... That will somehow hit. Ah. <laughs> he does He does have actually a minus one attack, right? Yes, since he's next to <laughs> and two. And this rat uh, will sidestep okay. to here, and it will swing with this rat... One, two. Okay, so sidestep first and then moving to here. So that way it'll have a plus one attack. Uh, it'll need it. Yes. Yes. Ha ha. Oh, okay. I saw one. Uh, oh, man. If that would have been a crit miss, I mean, it would have landed. Like, it would have died because I actually yeah. moved that in the way of Alopex. If, if I just continued and then... this game forever, I think eventually you would have to crit miss to death have to uh and then mauser is going to take a swing against this last triple please just don't be a crit miss and we can go home all right a nine will sadly just barely it's hit the triple mauser um, and Calder action token has reached peak triple death uh quite literally uh, how many triple died? 10 so decimated nice. in the the 50 the points number. uh all right uh, another epic golden age brawl has come to a close reminder you can vote for what figures we use on facebook twitter discord in the comment section of this video make sure to like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed it this has officially caused the last of our golden age hero thursday throwdown episodes to be a tie so the tiebreaker episode for Thursday Throwdown, and for all intents and purposes, this it will be the grand finale of Thursday Throwdown, uh, at least the format that we're used to seeing yes. it, which as is you the, know whole it, golden the, the Golden Age. As you yes. know it. Yeah, as the Golden Age, as we know it. Uh, this will be the tiebreaker, and it will be Thor Ragnarok versus Undead. I will be building from Thor Ragnarok, and Simeon will be building from Undead. We chose these sets randomly. We literally rolled... Uh, tabletop simulator dice to choose these sets. So yeah, go ahead, guys. Uh, biggest thing I would like to see from Thor Ragnarok, the uh, the Heimdalls were really cool, and the Grandmaster was really cool from those sets. That's what comes to mind when I think of Thor Ragnarok. Simeon, got any shout-outs for Undead? Uh, the whole set is really fun. Uh, the ghosts are really good. They don't, they're not very offensive, but they're really good at... Uh, kind of being like a passive support kind of thing by uh, reducing opposing characters attack values uh, the zombie horde thing was really great um, never really took off like other than a extremely casual kind of thing because their stats are just awful um, I haven't played enough Mr. Hyde so it'd be cool to play him I know he's decent he's just not really like one of my favorite pieces from the set but really I mean swarms of anything uh, that's what the whole set's about, so, yeah. All right, and as always, happy trails.